I got it together. We're doing a BirdNet app demonstration. And just for your information, according to Cornell Lab of Ornithology, Stefan Kahl developed this app. So a lot of birds are migrating right now. They're going into their breeding grounds, which may or may not be north of here. So it's a crapshoot. Could be picking up anything. So what I'm going to do first is go to my science folder. And top left and cent center is the BirdNet app. And the reason I moved that one to the top is because there's so much happening. Like I said, there's so much migration right now. And it's a good review for me because most of these birds, you know, cardinals, robins, um, catbirds, goldfinches, um, Baltimore Orioles, song sparrows, white-throated sparrows, those are mostly committed to memory. Chickadees, too. And uh, sometimes you forget. And when they're migrating, you're going to, like I said, you're going to pick up birds that aren't going to be around for very long. So it's, it's really cool to be out in the field. Uh, right now I'm out in my yard. But um, if you're out in the field, have your binoculars, and if you have a really good camera, that's a great time to get shots of them. So upper left is BirdNet. I'm going to click on that. And up in the right-hand corner is an arrow in the shape of a circle. So we're going to click on that so it can record. And we're going to be quiet and listen. Okay, so let's get some of this to analyze. And what I'm doing is I'm putting my finger on the screen and I'm dragging it across based on those little etchings that you see. On the left-hand side, you see a couple of little etches coming down from the top. You see two long ones and two little ones on the left-hand side of the bottom long one. That's bird song. Usually most of the bird song that this app will pick up is usually within the first half of the screen on the recording and that's what you're really looking for anything else like as you see in the darker areas like on the right hand side you see the up and down that's either me moving or it's like this big old truck driving by so you're not really focusing on that but if you notice on the right hand side closer to the top there's this one little tiny squiggle next to the long lines and that is probably bird song but I'm not gonna well you know what let's yeah let's start over so I'm gonna tap the screen and I'm gonna drag it across and we'll see if maybe the bird app will tell us what was in there so we press analyze on the lower left it submits it Northern Car Cardinal and Song Sparrow. And if you want to do a double check, you click on one of the birds. I clicked on Song Sparrow. Goes to Wikipedia. And underneath the picture of the beautiful, handsome Song Sparrow, there is a recording. And I just want to let you know, sometimes it's not always there. So if you don't see that, scroll down. And if you don't see anything else, it also gives you great information. It gives you the entire classification and where that bird should be right now breeding year-round and wintering and on, a, on a colorized map which is just awesome and then it gives you other information but if you don't see the recording right there where you have the play arrow and then you have the 1.06 for the duration if it's not there go to the very very bottom and click the library that's right in the center and that will go to the library and right here uh, you can see this it looks exactly like the same recording that I just did let's click on that yep and there's no doubt about it that he is definitely in the yard so let's go back and do the same thing with the northern cardinal click on him goes to Wikipedia gives you all the great information shows you male on top and female on the bottom classification <coughs> gives you the map of where they live and there is no sound here 
So like I said earlier, go to the very bottom and click the library in the center. And there is the recording right on top. Well, there's no tell on who makes these recordings, but this one is not a very, very good one. So what you could do if you really do want the recording of the Cardinal, you could just do a typical Google search. Chances are it'll probably go to the Cornell Lab of Ornithology, and you'll get a really good recording there. You can get plenty of them on, on YouTube also. So let's try it once more and see what else we can pick up because... I'm also hearing white-throated sparrow, and I hear the Baltimore Oriole way up in the treetops. So let's let's hit the arrow in the upper left hand, right hand corner. <laughs> That's my Irish right, and uh, be quiet. Okay, you see the jagged lines right in there? I'm gonna highlight that, and we're going to analyze. And it's the song sparrow again. He's dominant in the yard right now. And I think that the Baltimore Oriole may be too far up in the treetops. He's way up in those uh, black walnuts. So it might not be picking it up. This is still, I believe, a beta app, so and it may always be, I'm not sure, but it's always learning. So every time you record a bird, it's it learns and it puts it into its database. So we're gonna try it once more and the traffic is picking up. I apologize for that, but uh, let's give it a minute. Okay, I'm gonna pick this right here because I just saw a catbird land in the bushes way up in the back. Let's see if it picked it up. I'm gonna press analyze. No, still picked up the, the song sparrow. All right, well, let's do it once more. See if we can pick up anything interesting. And the song sparrow is the, the star of the hour. Let's analyze once more. And it's our favorite celebrity, the song sparrow. So I hope you enjoyed that demonstration. And uh, all you have to do, I hope you can use this. Uh, use your smartphone, go on Google, and search the BirdNet app and download it. And... Uh, have fun bird watching. It's a blast. Thanks everyone for watching. Bye bye.